Hey, good morning everybody. I'm going to be going through some review of something that was assigned to you last week. So last week, or the last week before vacation, I assigned numbers 1 to 4 to you. Today I'm going to show you how to do uh, numbers 5 to 16 on the PowerPoint, and we can review it uh, tomorrow in another video. <clears throat> so this is the ones we did last week. And let me show you to remind you. So remember last week we did these problems, x times x times x times x times x. You would just identify how many times x is a factor, and it would be x to the power of 5. Okay, because there's 5 x's. So you just add up those 5, it would be x to the power of 5. Similar out here on letter B, those three d's there. So it would be d to the power of 3. And then we did some like this where it had both uh, numbers and variables. So we would add up the number of sevens and then add up the number of b's, not combining them all together. Okay. And it'd be seven to the power of two and b to the power of two. So now we're going to write it a little bit differently. We're going to go from, uh, this is going to be written from expanded form here to exponential form. This is exponential form. So now we're going to work backwards, basically what we did here. So here we went from expanded form to exponential form. Here we're going to go the other way. And we're going to be simplifying these powers. Okay. So what would this actual answer actually be? Uh, so this would be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So 5 times. And you would just find the product. Okay, so it'd be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, <clears throat> and you'd get 243. So you'd go from writing it in exponential form here, writing it in expanded form here, and then finding the product. Similarly here with letter B, so this is 1 third to the third power. So you would write 1 third times itself 3 times, just like you see here. 1 third times itself 3 times. If you don't remember how to multiply these fractions, you would do the top first, 1 times 1 times 1, which would be 1, of course, and then 3 times 3 times 3 on the bottom. So you get 1 over 27. Okay, I'll show you a few more. So this one is negative 4 to the power of 4. Make sure if you see the number with the parentheses around it, you write it in expanded form, <clears throat> also with the parentheses it does make a difference. So negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4, you would find the product. Now the reason it comes out to a positive is because, look, negative 4 times negative 4 would give you a positive number, and then that positive times that negative would give you a negative number, but then finally you'd have a negative times that last negative, it would end up being a positive. An easy way to remember is that even exponents when you have a problem like this would be positive. If you had an odd number like a 3 or a 5, then that number would be a negative. <clears throat> Next one here, this one is slightly different. See, no parentheses. So this is what it would look like. So you'd have a negative on the outside, you'd have the parentheses inside, and then those eight twos. So these, if you have a problem like this, the answer will be negative. Always. Even if there's an even number here, if the negative is right next to the number and it's not inside the parentheses, it's going to be positive. So make sure when you do the review questions, you review that and remember that. So some more problems here. So 7 to the power of 4, that would be 7 multiplied by itself 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. You could use a calculator. That's fine. And you multiply 7 times 7 times 7 times 7, and you get 2,401. Next one, 1 half to the power of 3. Just like the fraction one we did on the last one, 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. Multiply those 1's on the top. Multiply the 2's on the bottom. So you end up with 1 over 8. And here's a few more starting with letter C, negative 5 to the power of 2. Remember, inside the parentheses, Keep those inside the parentheses. So you'd have negative 5 times negative 5. Finding the product, 
that be positive 25. This one, the negative 9 to the power of 4, you would have the negative outside the parentheses, and then the 4, 9 inside, so you'd end up with a negative answer. Okay, so you'll use that video to help you use the notes within the PowerPoint, and you'll use that to answer these questions here, numbers 5 through 16. If you didn't do numbers 1 through 4 uh, before vacation, do those as well. Um, but these, this entire page is going to be due uh, later in the week. I'll show you how to do these uh, in tomorrow's video, and we'll review the answers.